and welcome to Friday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic, uh, where I'm in a jolly bad mood. <laughs> More on that in a moment. I'm hoping this puzzle is going to put me in a better mood. It's called German Hisses, and it's by Dying Flutchman. And I haven't, or I don't feel I've done a snake puzzle for ages, and this has not one but two snakes in it. So it ought to be doubly magnificent. Um, so thanks for Dying Flutchman for sending this in. In fact, this puzzle was recommended to us way back in the day, quite a few times. And I know our testers looked at it and they didn't like the rules. So um, it's obviously had a rebirth. Uh, it was resubmitted to us just recently. Um, so it, it should should all be good to go now. I've, I've had a read of the rules actually just before I turned on the webcam. And they seem pretty clear to me and jolly interesting. So we'll get to that in a minute. But why, you may wonder, am I in a bad mood? Well, I have been hornswoggled by none other than pe pencil mark. Because Pencil Mark spotted that Fistema fell, no less. This puzzle here has just appeared. It appeared today at 1.32 this morning um, on Logic Masters Germany. And Pencil Mark's already done it in a video. I'm absolutely appalled by this. Um, so I think he's put it on Patreon already. So if you're watching this video on Friday, it's already there. So you can go and have a look at it. And I think he's done it because it's one star out of five for difficulty, which is a very strange thing for Fistmafell to have done. But yeah, so I'm sorry, but I, you will not be seeing me solve this puzzle on the channel because Pencil Mark has done it already. Bar humbug. Um, anyway, anyway. I better get off that glum topic. Um, do I have anything else to tell you? Tomorrow night, Mark and I, the dastardly Mark and I, will be um, streaming. Uh, we're going to be streaming. What's the, Where's this puzzle? Uh, not puzzle. Where's this game? Here we go. Escape Simulator. I'm looking forward to this, actually. It's, how, it's an online escape room type thing. Uh, I know no more about it than that. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. 10pm uh, tomorrow night. We'd love to have your company if you have time to join us. Um, so that's that. Now let's get on with the rules of German hisses, and they are as follows. Um, normal Sudoku rules apply. Uh, there are two snakes in the grid, the endpoints of which are given as circles. Right, so I can see we've got four circles, so we're going to have, we've got the possibility of a very short stubby snake at the bottom. Um, but yeah, basically this is the head and tail of two different snakes. Um, snakes cannot touch themselves or each other orthogonally, but they can touch diagonally. So what does that mean? Let's think about that. So that means, um, let's imagine that the snake did something like this, then this snake at the bottom could, oh, bobbins, <laughs> that's a total disaster, sorry. Let's imagine this snake did something like that. Then this snake at the bottom could do, it couldn't do this because that would be touching orthogonally. This snake here, the blue snake, is touching the red snake orthogonally. But what would happen if instead it did that? Then that, I think, would be allowed because these snakes do touch, but only at a point. Uh, they're touched diagonally, but not orthogonally. And this could be, maybe I've indeed solved the puzzle um, with these two snakes. Let's carry on reading the rules. Um, adjacent digits along a snake must differ by at least five. Okay, so these the snakes have to be interpreted as German whispers, and that means I can already tell that my bottom snake is wrong. <laughs> um, so don't draw the bottom snake. It won't be correct for reasons I shall explain once I start solving it properly. Um, the nun snake cells form several regions. Ah, okay. Um, in regions, digits cannot repeat. Oh, so actually <laughs> both snakes are now wrong. Uh, and I can see that. Let me just explain that. So I think what it's saying is that the, the, the cells that are not covered in snake are, you know, regions like this. That's clearly a region uh, which is not snake. But every one of those cells has to be a different digit. And there are too many cells, therefore, in this region for this to be a possible arrangement of the snake. This, this, this is too large. Um, some region totals have been indicated by small corner clues. Oh, okay, okay so this is total nonsense now, I'm now realizing, because basically in these, these digits here and this digit cannot be snake cells. 
Um, in fact, so let's get rid of all of this because this is such nonsense. It's probably just going to confuse us. So let's imagine that we drew a snake that looked, uh, actually, now I'm going to really struggle to do this, but let's imagine we drew a snake like that. Then I think what it's saying is that this cell or these, this cell, these, this two by two forms a region of non-snake cells. And these, the sum of these cells would have to be greater than 26. That's really interesting. Okay. Um, right, the given digits indicate the number of snake cells within the three by three square centered on that digit. The given digits. Okay, so we've got five given digits. Oh, so I've already, this is wrong as well. I'm not doing very well with this, but I think what this is saying, let's not focus on the three which and the four, which are both definitely wrong now, because a, a three by three centered on this three would take into account those cells. And you can see, unfortunately, with my tentatively drawn in snake, I've managed to fill in four of those cells of snake where only three of them should be. But let's look at this six in the middle. That's telling us, Put the six in the middle of a three by three box like that it's telling us that six of the cells six of the orange cells now have to be filled with snake um, and that's all the rules that's quite a lot of rules actually so let's go back to the start let's get rid of all our tentatively drawn in snakes and see if we can draw some correct snakes now do have a go at the puzzle the way to play of course on cracking the cryptic is to click the link under the video but now i get to play let's get cracking now what i'm going to do first i think is to observe that that cell there which i spotted when i did my example snake cannot be snake ever because it's a five and because the um the snakes operate like german whispers so adjacent digits on a snake have to differ by five you can never put a five on a snake because if you do, the adjacent digit will either have to be zero or less or 10 or higher, both of which are impossible Sudoku digits. So this square is not snake and I'm going to therefore award it the color of being yellow. There we go. So we're going to have, now the other thing is those, these uh, corner cells, weren't they cluing region totals and region totals were defined as being yeah yes the non-snake cells form several regions some region totals have been indicated by small corner cells so these digits here i guess that one which was just in fact that one's interesting that's just a question mark so all that's in there to do is to tell us that this specific cell is not a snake which is quite interesting i wonder if that will help us when we solve so these are non-snake, and we know that the heads and tails are definitely snake. What shall I use for that? Red. Is that going to show? I can see they're very different, so I might use that. Red and yellow. Um, now, do we know about the given digits? Are they snake or are they not snake? Um, hang on a sec. Let me remind myself what the rule said. The given digits indicate the number of snake cells within the three by three centered on that digit. Um, oh, so we don't know that actually. So, it, so these could be snake or they might not be snake, but we don't know. Bobbins, okay. Um, hmm. So what's the first job here? Is it to prove that the short stubby snake is impossible? Why is this not a correct snake? I mean, it just seems so absurd. If you were making this puzzle, Dying Flutchman, you would not have done this, would you? You wouldn't have done this unless it was an April Fool. So, why is that specifically ruled out? The five here is telling us that five cells in that three by three have to be, have to be taken up with snake that cell would yes okay so whether whether we go this way or this way that cell is always not snake so i'm wondering about this four clue now how do we complete that four clue you can't right ah right so we're off to the races this is this doesn't work so if we draw a short short stubby snake 
we can't we now have to connect these two digits or these two snake cells in such a way that includes four of those nine cells but what we have to think about here is how does a snake turn because of course a snake is not allowed to touch itself do not let your snake touch itself because if it touches itself you'll get a nasty shock and you'll have a lot of trouble filling the grid because so let's think about how we're going to fill these digits we or, or in fact let's let's come to a, a bigger region of the grid and think about a snake turning so if a snake was in the middle of its turn here it's now got a choice in theory about its next cell if it's going to turn it could try and turn here but it can't do that because if it turns like really acutely these two cells are definitely touching each other and we've made our snake touch itself and that's not allowed so the closest you'll be able to make a turn is to do that that's the short of you can do a u pentomino that's the shortest form of turn we can do in a snake now knowing that let's try and think about this four again how can we ever fulfill it now if this square is yellow it's impossible because we can never we can never actually get into these cells because the moment we get into them we can't get out of them again remember this cell's obviously out that's that's orthogonally next to a snake this cell is just a dead end and we've already got all our heads and tails of snakes so we'd have to be doing a turn in those cells which is impossible best we'll do is that that's only three cells so we actually have a bit of a start here we can get rid of all this nonsense and we can say yes we can say both of those squares are yellow now because the snake has not we can't take either of those squares so that snake that snake now the snake can ah no well no the snake can't drop down here i was about to say now the snake can come into row nine but it actually can't because of the four clue again if the snake comes down it has to take those five cells well in fact it has to take those six cells as a minimum and that's definitely higher than four so this square's not in once this square's not in you can never get into the bottom row in box seven so those aren't in um okay so now we've got to now we've got to think about I've got to fulfill this four, but not break the three. That's actually not, not as easy as I thought it was going to be because how could you ever take this cell? Let's just, uh, I'm just gonna think about this in terms of overlapping regions. Oh, that's a terrible color to have chosen, apologies. Let's choose um, maybe gray so that what we know is that three clue has to take three of these gray cells, but we know that the four clue has to take f four of those purple cells. Now, if we take this square and we make this square snake, how do we make this work now? Because the only way I can see I, I now definitely can't take this square. I hopefully that's obvious because if I take this square, I have to do I have to do this, and that's taken. I've, I've now got four grey cells highlighted. So I'd have to take this cell. I now have got two cells already in the grey, so I can have one more. But I've still got to get out of the grey, so I've got to I've got to take that one. So that's force. But now I haven't got four in the in 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 the purple cells. I've only got three. So that's that is useful. This square is not snake and is therefore yellow, which means the snake does turn up, which means this square is yellow because we can now never visit it. So now, now I've got a different problem. Oh, no, now it's obvious. Now I was about to start pontificating about the three, noticing I had to do three of this two by two. But actually, let's just look at the four. The four needs, the four can only have those four cells. So all of those are snake. The snake must turn. We can't turn back on ourselves. Don't let our snakes touch themselves. So that's got to extend. And there we go. We've got a lot of colors there, which we can get rid of. But I think we've actually sorted the logic out. 
So now these two squares, we can't let snakes touch these two squares or we'll have orthogonal connections. Oh, oh no, I thought I'd broken the five. I haven't broken the five, but the five is now interesting. How do we complete five red cells in this five clue? We've got to take those two squares and this is not an end, so it must extend. Don't let the snake touch itself. Extend the snake, that's not an end. And we've actually, we're getting off to a bit of a start here. Um, this is exciting. Um, now that's got to extend. Ah, of course. Yes, I've now got a three on what is in effect a German whispers line. It's, a du it's doing double duty. It's a, it's a snake and a German whispers line. So now the thing to know about German whispers lines, apart from the fact they can't contain, oh, they can't contain a five. Yeah, okay, so in box seven, I'm jumping around all over the place. Sorry, my neurons are firing in various directions. But this, I've got to put a five in one of those cells in box seven because you can never put a five on the German whispers line. But the other thing we know about German whispers lines is that they, they, they alternate their polarity. So you can see that this is a low digit, by which I mean it's, it's a one, two, three, or four. Now the next cell in either direction actually has to be a high digit because it's got to be at least five away from three. So in fact, those two squares must be from only eight and nine. Now think about the next cells on the German whispers lines. Well, again, they have to flip back towards the polarity of the three. They've got to be low digits again because they've got to be five different from eight or nine. So they have to be ones, twos, threes and fours. That one can't be three or four by Sudoku. That one can't be three by Sudoku. This one can't be four by whispers logic because if it's a four, you've got to put nine on both sides of it and that's not going to work. So that one is a one or a two. Um, that's then bouncing up again. But now I think, yeah, it can actually be anything, six, seven, eight, or nine. Um, this one must be high, so that's got to be six, seven, eight, or nine. Annoyingly, that one can be a six, look, because if that's a six, you can have one in both of those cells, and those ones won't see each other. Ah, so, okay, so we can't limit this one. Can we limit that one? One, two, three, or four. Um, no, it's not four by Sudoku. One, two, or three. So, okay, this this hasn't actually taken us forward at all. Um, four has got to be in one of those cells in box four, which means four is in one of those cells in box one. Um, still no actual digits in the grid I'm noticing no okay so sorry I seem to be running out of ideas about what to do up here um, this is greater than 26 okay so that that little yellow region has to grow a little bit more at least because it, the minimum or the maximum three cells can add up to would be seven eight and nine and that's only 24. So we have to have at least four yellow cells in this region. Um, okay. I don't know what, I don't know whether these are in or out of the snakes, do I? So what do we do next? Do we know anything about this square? That's, that square looks interesting to me. And I say that because if this square is snake, obviously the snake has to run all the way around because it can't be the head or the tail of the snake. So if that is snake, we get a big long string of snake, an enormous snake in the bottom right hand corner of the grid. Ah, now is that ruled out? Because now I'm noticing if I do that, this yellow region connects now to this yellow region because these would both have to be yellow. I sort of, imp I took from the rules the implication that that wasn't allowed. It's sort of in regions. Let me just read the rules again. 
Some region totals have been indicated by small corner clues. But I guess, hmm, I'm not sure about that. Because if, I mean, a question mark clearly in theory could be the same as less than 22. A question mark could be anything. Oh, uh, ah, right. Well, I think we're going to have to bear in mind that might be possible, but I can disprove it in this instance because this is rather gorgeous, actually. Where does five go in box nine? And the answer is, if, if, we, if we have this as a red cell, a snake cell, where does five now go? It's got to go in one of those two squares because it can't go in the snake. And by Sudoku, it can't go in those. But that's plonked it in the same region as this five. And I do know about regions, they can't contain repeated digits. So this is impossible. So if this is impossible, that means this square can't be snake, which means it's unsnaked. That means those two are unsnaked. Now. Wow, there's so much tension now around here, isn't there? Um, see, if that, if that goes up, then how does this get out? It's got to get out through there. This goes down. I, it's quite interesting actually. If it goes down, it can't immediately close the snake. Because if it did, I don't think you can now get a snake cell into box nine. And that means all of these cells would be yellow, and that's yellow, and that's a 10 cell yellow region, which would require a repeated digit. So if it does drop down, that has to be snake, and then that has to do that, look. And that would have to be less than 22, which is still possible. That would be out. In fact, all of, oh, you get a nine cell region there as well. Because now this is orthogonally not in, that's not in. You can't now get a snake into this domino. So that becomes a nine cell region, which is greater than five. Um, greater than five. I mean, obviously this would be greater than five. It's got nine cells, it would be 45. Um, that's because of the secret, by the way. The secret being that the digits one to nine if you add them up once each, you will get 45. All of these now would be snake. So that would, problem is all this looks possible, doesn't it? And it's a massive long bifurcation, but I can't disprove it. So I don't know what this does, but I think what we can say is that whichever direction it goes in, it's potent. It really will force a lot of things. Um, I wish I could see quickly which way it went but I can't. So where else are we going to look here? Let us have a look at, we've done this clue, we've done this clue, we've done this clue, the six clue. Maybe that's somehow constrained with the three next to it. Let's have a look at that. So the six clue is telling us that those blue cells contain exactly six snake cells. Um, I don't have a clue how to think about that. How do we think about that? I mean, it's quite difficult, I think. You could never fill, in this puzzle anyway, you could never fill eight of these cells with snake. I think you could fill seven, maybe, like that. So the maximum number of cells in any three by three region you can fill with snake in this puzzle, given that we can't touch ourselves and, but we can touch ourselves diagonally, I think is seven 
which gives us one degree of freedom. But unfortunately, no, even knowing that, I don't think... So does that mean that cell has to not be snake? If that cell's snake, let me just think about that maybe. Maybe it's impossible to get six cells if you take the middle cell as snake. So if the middle cell is snake, how do I get six? I need five more cells around blue. So if I then connect it up here, that looks that looks dreadful. How does that ever, hang on, that actually does look dreadful. Um, that, how do I now get another four snake cells, given those would definitely be yellowed. One of these would have to be yellowed. That's forced. I can't take both of those or the snake has branched. So let's just make it that one and then that one out. So now I, now I need all three of those and that's nonsense because the snake's gonna touch itself. Right, so that's interesting. So that means if this is snake, this is not snake. And that's not making things easier, is it? So now this has to jump here, has to go there, has to go here. Now, now, does it then, if it then comes here, one, two, three, n n no, n no, that doesn't work. I don't know how obvious that is to people, but um, going along this merry route, we'd have to take these two squares. But now we can't take this square because that would give us three in the blue region. I need three more but I don't see a way of I don't see a way of doing that with this pattern anyway I can see how I can get five and I can see how I can get five like that but this square is not accessible for a sixth uh, am I missing something there I don't think so five like that but then I can't touch anything else so if this was correct Oh, I see, you could do it. Okay, look at that, you can do that. Ah, bobbins, right. Okay, so if you do do this, come this way. So let's follow this through in my head. If this is snake, this is definitely not snake. I have to turn left. I now cannot take this cell, so I have to close the snake there. This snake is now, this is gonna be an enormous snake probably coming down here and look I can just about get this one th this six to work now by fiddling around like this that would work and it and it works with the three look at that the three is now correct as well so this is probably right um, let's try to check whether there's anything obvious that's wrong with this all of those would be red. 26. Oh, no, that's no, hang on, that's not right. Oh dear, this, nah, that's weird. Okay, I was sure that was gonna work because it works with the three, but it, it doesn't seem to have worked with the 26 now. So the 26 is only three cells large and it needs to be at least four, so that's not right. So that means if we do come here, we have to go there. We can't close the loop. And then we ca it just doesn't work. You can't do it. You end up here having to take three more cells and it, it, you, there's just no way of doing it. Right, so that's huge. Well, I say it's huge. It proves what my first instinct was when we started looking at how this, this six was going to be, um, how, how we were going to get to a count of six. I think you you're going to have to miss the middle cell out. We've also got to bear in mind that we can't be too stringent in how we treat this 26. So 
so we definitely can't do that. So if we come here, if we come here and do that, is that always broken or is that okay? That's my next line of attack here. Um, so what's wrong with this? Now this cell has to be yellow. That's that's true. That would have to be yellow. So this would have to extend. So now we've got now we've got a, a difficult situation again, I think, because now I've got three loop ends coming into box one. Yeah, that's got to come in as well. So these three loop ends obviously can't, they can't all join to each other. And we're getting very, everything's getting very difficult here. That's got to be yellow. So I've only got, I've got to fill in most of the rest of the blues in yellow. I can do it though. Actually, I can do it like that and like that. And that would work with the three again. I'll, bother. Um, hang on a minute. I'm, <laughs> I have a feeling this is a lot more constrained than I'm making it look. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me think about this. So I can make this work if this can join to this. If this joins to this, that joins to that what's wrong I've got to pick up all of these that doesn't work because that three is going to break ah okay so if we do if we are on this road and we go this way and join these up the only way of getting this out is to do and to pick up all four three all all six six digits and all three three digits is to do this and that's broken so yes, okay. So the only way of this working is to connect this with this and to run this around the rosy like that. Yeah, that, and then this could be picked up and we can, oh no, hang on, I'm, hang on, I'm gonna get the wrong count again. I'm gonna get too many, aren't I? Or is that wrong? One, two, three. Sorry, I know I'm not doing this in the most elegant way. I'm very conscious of that, but I'm just trying to work out how I can ever get to the right count here. I need to get six not s Oh, yeah, I need to get six not seven, and I need to get three not four. So I have to take that cell, don't I? And I have to do that, and that seems to be a count of seven. I'm not sure this is possible. I'm not sure this is possible. Ah, ah, no, simpler, right. Here is, here is the, the, the easy way of dealing with this. Yeah, okay, this is, this is lovely, right. You can never take this cell as red in, in this line, because if you do, you've broken this snake. And you've broken this snake, let me show you why. If you put, if you make that cell red, this, this cell now cannot come to those squares because this cell, this will be isolated. We're trying to attach this to this. And the only way of doing it now is to run it down the start of column one where it will run into a four on the snake. And that four will be surrounded on both sides by nine. And whether those nines are there and there or there and there or there and there, there will be a problem with repeated nines in this box. So if you do come, if you come down here It's just broken, isn't it? Because there's no way of doing it. You've got to close the loop there. And now, and now you've got to pick up all of these squares and this one with this red, and that's going to break the three. Right, so this is useful. It's a long, long old chain, but what we've, well, this is a long chain because all I've proved there is that that is not red. Ah, so that's yellow and the red comes up here. Although some of that thinking might might be able to be used again, actually, because it, now if we turn left, 
do we have the same sorts of issues? Can we close this immediately? And somehow pick up enough? Maybe we can actually. So if we close the snake, this 26 is now okay. This and this are now both yellowed. And I have to pick up every single other cell with this, like that. Oh no, it doesn't work. Because again, this three is very clever. This three is very clever because it really puts pressure on how the snake can move through box two. So again, here, the problem is you have to take those cells and this one, and you can see you've got four cells around the three. So that doesn't work. Um, so we have to come up there again. And are we going to get the same problem that we had last time? How do we ever take this cell as being snake now? If we take that cell as snake, it's clearly in this path. And this has got no way of connecting to this. So we cannot do it because of these fours. So we cannot take that cell. So we have to come across, which makes those two squares yellow, requires us to fill all those. And the three is even more broken. So this just doesn't work. This just doesn't work. We cannot turn into this, this area of the grid from this position. So we must turn this way which means this square becomes yellow. So we've now got two yellows in our blue region. We need one more. And we mustn't break the three. Yes, okay, so if we mustn't break the three, I think because we've done all this thinking now, I'm getting my head around this, we, we cannot take... Uh, no, actually, I'm wrong. <laughs> I've done all the thinking and still reached the wrong conclusion. Bother. Um, I was going to say we can't take all three of those. But I think that's not true. We could do something like that. And that wouldn't break the three and it would make the six work. Something has to work at the end of the day. Something. Ha that, let's not forget that. There must be a way of filling this in so it actually works. One, two... What about if that cell is not a snake? Because that cell's interesting to me because it's in the corner of two yellows. So if it's if that's snake, you have to do that. And that would probably do some things. Um, so if that's not snake, you have to take all of those. Oh, that's horrible. No, that's that's of course that's broken. Because now I've got three snake ends coming into box one again. And I can't do that. There's no way of getting one of them out. So that's not true. So this is therefore snake. And therefore that's a snake region is forced. That's not snake anymore. We can't come this way. That's going to lead this snake to branch. So this square's out. So we must come here. And that's forced. This is not possibly snake. And now I've got four, I'm gradually building this up. I've got four snake regions in my six region and I need two more, but that's forced not to be. That's forced not to be, so that's huge. So it must be those two. Although have I now broken the three? Ah! No, I'm on a count of two at the moment in this. I can get out by going there and running out of box two at a pace. So my snake slithers around here, goes up there and immediately exits box two. All of these turn, all of these turn yellow. And we can get rid of my blue, blue flashing now. We don't need blue flashing snakes as well as all these other innuendos going on. Um, and that actually looks quite good, doesn't it? That looks... It looks a lot cleaner now. Have I got six around this? Yes. Have I got three around this? Yes. Do I know which way this goes? Do I heckers like? I do not know. Uh, although, or, although what I do know, of course, is how the parity works in this, because now we're in a sort of checkerboard world, aren't we? Where the next cell on this snake is either here or here and is a low digit 
So that means that square is high, which means that square is high, which means that square is high. So all of those are high digits on our whispers line. That's not six. That's not six because it would be surrounded on both sides by a one. That could be six because I could put a one here. And these two therefore are low digits. And can we do the same thing? Yes, that can't be four, that can't be four because I can't surround them with nines on both sides. So, ah, so I've got a one, two, three triple in column three. And what else have we got going on then? Now we've got some stuff emanating around the middle of the board. Uh, don't actually know what that's doing though. Sorry, I'm totally ground to a halt <laughs> again. Um, do we, is it Sudoku? This is my normal recourse when I'm totally stuck. The thing is, I can't really do very much Sudoku when I've got no actual digits in the grid after 41 minutes of solving. This could be another movie. Oh, good grief. Um, how do we make more progress? 26 here. No, we're up to five cells. We don't need a sixth cell. even here. That's a disambiguator. Um, question mark here. That's so, so unuseful. Greater than five. Greater than five. No, okay. Um, right. So, can, yes, okay, I know what we can do. We've got this on a whispers line, haven't we? So this is a whispers line as well, so I can fill in all the parity on this one. Good grief, Simon, wake up. So all of those have to be low digits, one, twos, threes, or fours. These ones can't be threes. That one can't be the four because it's in the middle of a whispers line. Both of those would have to be nine. That one could be a four because I could put nine in both of those. They wouldn't see each other. That one can't be a four. That one we don't we don't know. Yeah that one could perhaps be a four. Could have a nine and a nine here or a nine and a nine there. So the other digits then surrounding these small digits have to be big digits. And we can get rid of six from a great deal of those by the looks of things. And it doesn't seem to do anything. <laughs> Does it really not? I've got sort of the makings of some pairs and some triples, but I haven't actually got anything useful. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm not seeing how to do that either. Can that really be a four? Not that it actually matters very much if it can't be because, um, or it, maybe it would matter if it was a four, because then at least I know the snake wouldn't continue on. So this, this one, either goes here or goes there or there or comes off down here and that forces that out. Ah! Oh wow! Right, right, okay. Dying Flutchman, that, that is a very, uh, I love this idea, right. I am going to tell you that this square is not snake for the most beautiful reason. This is this is really cool. This is a really, really beautiful reason. 
if this is snake why is there a problem oh hang on i've got i've got a message from pencil mark about his fistima fell yeah okay yeah just gloating just gloating uh anyway um i've lost my train of thought totally no oh no i've got it back because this is so beautiful right this square is not red because if it's red look what happens now we've got to make this red and we've got to get this out so it's got to come up here somehow but look now all these squares are yellow and there are nine of them now that means they can't have any more yellows in this region because otherwise there'll be a repeated digit so we have to close this off and that might have been the end of the story except that dying flutchman has labeled this region as being a summing to an even number and therefore it can't be nine cells large because the secret applies and the secret tells us that that nine cell region adds to 45 and 45 is most certainly odd and that that is just beautiful that is just beautiful so this this is yellow and now now we know this closes with this so we can check aboard it and we can get the parity of this this has to be a high digit doesn't it because the next digit on this snake is going to be high then there's going to be a low digit and therefore that one is high so that's a six seven eight or nine in the corner this square is now not possibly filled because we can't get out we'll leave this loop segment stranded so that's yellow whoa 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 okay now we've got a problem here because this this is right if this if this snake region turns down even if i clip some cells out of box nine to not break that i can never get snake into box six and if i can't get snake into box six all of those cells, cells turn yellow and become the most enormous region which they cannot be so this can't turn down that's got to turn up it's got to come out that's got to be yellow that's putting more pressure on my 22 region ah oh, yeah this is so clever now now how does this get out and touch any of its friends for we do need our snake to touch something even if it's not itself so this has got to come out through here now So now we know this is connecting to this and we can check aboard it, can't we? So now this square has got to be low. So that's one, two, three or four. Um, this square has got to be high, six, seven, eight or nine. That's really very annoying. That square can't be six anymore, I guess, because those two squares both have to be one. Right. Right, right okay more more beauty incoming that's a seven eight nine triple there's a seven in one of those cells now how are we going to surround our seven on a whispers line well it's going to have to be surrounded with one and two because we need digits that are five away from seven so either if this is a seven you've got a one two pair here and if this is a seven you've got a one two pair there so that square is definitely not a one or a two that's a four that's double nine surrounding it. Those squares become a seven, eight pair. That square becomes an eight because it's got to be five away from three and it can't be nine anymore. That's a seven, that's an eight, that's a nine, that's a not a nine. So that's six, seven or eight. The seven must be surrounded by um one and two so we can do all this we've got a one two pair that becomes a three we've got a one two pair in row five out of nowhere we've got this square's not eight anymore doesn't put any pressure on those digits if that's nine we can fill in these two however we like um what about that digit then don't know if that's restricted at all a horrible feeling this can still be six uh that oh this one can't be three anymore by sudoku 
Let's do some Sudoku. There's got to be some eights down here. There's got to be some threes in one of those two cells. There's got to be some nines in one of these three squares. Seven in one of those three squares. I uh, can't see what else. Oh, what are these two squares then? They're a f ah, they're a five six pair. Which doesn't actually seem to be very useful. Um, okay, but I was thinking about how we're going to close this loop up now because by checkerboard logic, given we know that this connects to this, don't we know that this is a different parity to that? Because however I sort of connect them up, if we believe in checkerboard parity, and I do, this would be this would always be low yeah that's always low that's always low so that's always low all of these are all low um, because of the whispers polarity and then that's good that's not four therefore that's not three so nine is in one of those two cells this and this have got to now be high digits, which might be, it might get interesting eventually. That's not nine. Ah, that, that can't be four then, because I need to put nine on both sides of it. So this is down to one, two, or three. Oh dear, sorry. Okay, I'm still not seeing how to, <laughs> how to connect anything up. Um, Right, okay, one thing I will say, though I'm still I'm still quite fixated on box six and not making it an enormous yellow region. So what would happen if the snake that we've got connecting here and here somehow never visited column nine? If it never visits column nine, all of those turn yellow and we've got an enormous region there, which is definitely too large. So given that we know that the snake at some point enters column nine, we know from our logic before it must turn in a u pentomino at the earliest so that means three of these four cells have to be red and that means the central two of them must be red and that means we can parity change these ones as well and it still doesn't work because it would have worked if this one had been a six and had been a high digit but you can see because this is low and checkerboarding that's going to be a low digit as well and that's going to be a high digit Oh dear, oh dear. So. What on earth is this doing? Greater than five. Oh. So is that saying this is a six? Or is it trying to say it extends? If that's a six. Does that put any pressure on the world? Oh, I know why. I know why this is greater than five. Oh, please let that be why. Hang on a moment. One, two, three. Hang on, I'm going to do this slowly. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, wow, oh my goodness me, right, okay, this is so cool, what digit does not go on a whispers line, answer, five, how many fives are there in a Sudoku? Nine. So that means we need nine different yellow regions in this Sudoku, at least, in order to cater for the, for the fives, because we can't put two fives in a yellow region. How many yellow regions are in this grid? One here, two here, three here, four here, five here, six here, seven here, eight here, nine here there are nine at the moment can we put another one in 
anywhere is it possible that we can we can we can create a new yellow region in this puzzle at this point i don't think it is obviously um this cell is already connected to a yellow region so it couldn't be a new yellow region that's already connected that's connected that's connected that's connected that's connected these three are connected these two and that one are connected those two are the only possible cells in this puzzle that could be a single yellow cell on its own but you can't make these a yellow you know a yellow cell ringed by red cells um, Actually, I'm saying that now. Can you actually do it? Maybe you can do it here. Oh, no, you can do it there. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. You can. Can you do that? Can you do that? That's the question. Oh, my goodness. I was so sure that that was going to be beautiful. And I've just ruined the beauty of the world. Um, I think you can. What's wrong with that, if anything? That has to be greater than five, so that, that would have to be a six on its own. And then that would have to be a... F oh, okay. No, that's still good. This is still good then. This logic is still interesting. It may not be quite as powerful as I thought it was going to be. But it's still interesting because in theory, I think I'm now of the view that I could create 10 yellow regions in this puzzle into which I would have to put nine fives. But if I do, if I do that, I cannot put two fives into those. Well, obviously I can't put two fives in. But this, uh, no, it's not quite as good as I was hoping. All, all I think I'm proving is that, all I think I'm proving is that every single other region, other than whatever's going on here, has to have a five in it. Because there are eight other regions and they all need to have a five. Um, there are eight other regions they all need to have a five so is that useful is that useful information the answer is I don't know the answer is I don't know this is definitely yellow, so this can't be six anymore. Oh no, it can be six because it can turn up and have double one here and here. That can't be six. Okay, maybe we can. Sorry, I'm now abandoning my plan of ruling the world with fives, and I'm going to try and do it a different way um, because I can't see how I can. I know there's a five either here on its own, in its own yellow region, or this is growing. But I, I do know if that grows, it's really useful because it forces that to be red. If it doesn't grow, it forces this to be red and those to be red. Is that helpful? Don't know. Um, but I do know that there's got to be a five in all of these other all of these other yellow regions. So there has to be a five in one of those cells. There has to be a five in one of these cells. The thing is, I don't know how that one grows. So I don't think we know. I don't know where the five goes in. I know that five must have a five, that this region must have a five in it, but I don't think I know where it goes. Oh dear, okay, sorry. So this was all a complete red herring. Um, now, okay, how do we do this then? Right, if in doubt, use the cell where your cursor is. My cursor is here. 
and that square cannot be red. There we go, there's a deduction. Um, because if it's red, it's got to be a it's got to be a one, two, three, or four by, by polarity. And it can't be a four, which is the only option it would have. It sees a one, two, and a three in its row, because that would surround it with double nine, and that won't work. So there we go. Then we can actually uh, hang on, I want to get rid of this digit. Bang bang. And I want to say that's yellow now. So now how does this connect to this? It's got to come across the top. Um now that means what? Now we can tell that this square has got to be a six, seven, or an eight by polarity. These have got to be ones, twos, threes, and fours. Can't put four here, it would just be surrounded by double nine. Can't put four here, it doesn't see a nine here. Ooh, so no, I can't put a four there also because there's a four in its row. Let's not forget that. Okay. That can't be a four, I've just noticed, because it's next to an eight. So now I've got a one, two, three triple in this column, which sort of feels like it, it might matter somehow, although I can't see how. Um, so I'd love to know whether this, I'd love to know whether I can prove what this digit does. don't see how to do it. Ah, no, i tell you what I can do, though. Here's an interesting point. This digit's a five. This, right, maybe this is the point of this, this, this fives idea, because I don't know... I don't know whether this is yellow or not. But I know that if it... If it's if it's yellow, there are there's it's only possible to put nine yellow regions in the grid. Every single isolated yellow region would need a five, including this one, so that would be a five. If this is not yellow and it's red, now the point is this can never be a five. So the nine regions that can contain five in the grid are this one and the other eight regions, which include that one. So it doesn't matter that much whether this is yellow or red. We always know that has to have a five in it in order to be able to put nine fives in the puzzle. So that becomes a six, which means that's not a six. It literally does nothing, does it? It really doesn't do anything. So now those squares there <laughs> include a six. Oh, good grief. Um, oh, no. <laughs> Five comes out of those two squares. Oh, five has to be in one of these two cells. Look, let's see if that matters for some reason. Don't think so. Um, does this six matter? Six now can't go in the yellow cells there. Is that doing something with the, the whispers line? Is that making me put a six on the whispers line? It is making me put a six on the whispers line. Okay, wow, good grief. Right, that sells a six. This six is massive. This the chain of logic in this is absolutely beautiful. I mean, this is crazily clever stuff. So I think we had to do the trick involving the fives to get this as a five, that gave us this as a six, which locks a six out of these cells. And now we have to think about where six goes in those six cells. What it can't do, well, there are two options, aren't there? It's either in a yellow cell. Now, can it be in a yellow cell in this box? No, because if we try and make a yellow cell in this box, Wherever we put the yellow cell, it will either connect to this region or this region. There is no other way. You, you can say, oh, well, this can't be a six by parity. I'm sorry, I mean, hopefully that's obvious. Or polarity, it would be next to a high digit. So, so the only places that six can go are these three cells. Now, I don't know if this is very clear. Hopefully it is clear. You can never put a six here on 
because either it's part of this yellow, and that's no good because it would repeat in the region, or it's on the, on the snake and it's got to be surrounded by double one in its box. Now the same is true here. If this is yellow, it's connected to the yellow region, or it's, it's on the snake and it's got to be surrounded by double one in its box. So neither of those can be six and we have to put six in the corner. And if I knew a song for that, I would sing it because that definitely deserves a song. I've now got a seven, eight, nine triple in this column. So there's a six in one of those two cells by Sudoku. Then, ah, ah, this is nice. I know this digit now, of course, because the next cell on the snake, whether it goes this way or this way, is a one, because it's got to be next to a six, and therefore that square becomes a two. Now, does that make any difference? <laughs> um, might do. I don't know how, but it might do. I really don't know how. Oh no, you rotten thing. You absolutely rotten thing. Okay, okay, I'm gonna to resort to Sudoku again. I've got a one, two, three triple in this column. One of these squares is therefore a three. Whichever one is a three can never be next to a seven on the whispers line, so that's a nine. That gets rid of nines from there. I get a seven, eight pair in this box. I've got to put nine in one of those two cells by Sudoku. Does that matter? I'm not sure, I don't think so. Um, okay, six, seven, eight here. One, two, three, one, two, no, one, two, four, seven in this column. Can we do something with this digit? That's six, that has to be one. I don't think that's ruled out by anything. Um, can I put four there? If that was four, that would have to be nine and that would have to be nine. Oh, that doesn't work. That's gonna stop me putting a nine in box three, look. So that's not four anymore. So I've now got a one, two pair in this row. That's nice. Doesn't do anything, but it's, it's it feels like a moderate, moderate amount of progress, doesn't it? Um, now, if that's four, that's nine. And then I'd have to put, have to make this cell nine as well. Is there, a, oh, hang on, that doesn't work. Yeah, this can't be four, because if that's four, you have to put a nine here and either a nine there or there depending on how the snake moves. And you either get two nines in the column or two nines in the box. So that's not four. Now I've got a one, two, three, triple here. So now two has to be in this collection of cells and in one of those three cells in this box. I'm not gonna pencil mark that because it it's going over the question mark and that's going to confuse me. So I've got a one, two, three, triple here, which Is there something I can do with in Whisper's world with that? There <laughs> probably is. I can't see what it is though. I've got a one, two pair in this row as well, which I mustn't neglect. And I've got all sorts of questions I need to answer about how this loop closes. What else have we got to deal with? how this one closes. That's not a six anymore. So this is seven or eight. 12, 19. Oh, I see what I see what this is this clue's doing now. Right, this is this is where we need to focus. Because the minimum value of this digit, or these this pair of digits is a one, two pair. That's the absolute minimum. So if this is snake, the absolute minimum we can make these four cells add up to is nine plus seven plus one plus two, which is 19, which is which because of the secret means that those squares would add up to 26, but they've got to be more than 26. So there's no way this can ever be in the snake because if it's, if it's ever in the snake, we can never make the yellow cells in this box add up to enough. 
So that is not snake. Uh, let's get rid of the one two pair there because that's not justified. That's snake. And that's on the whispers line. So this is now affected by parity or polarity. So that's a one, two or a three. So that's a one or a two now, just looking at our pencil marking. I've now got a one, two pair in this column as well. But I don't know that's, is that useful? Yeah, okay, those cells therefore in box one are now a four, five, six triple. And we know that that's not six. And that's not four. Um, but these aren't affected by, they don't have a clue like me. <laughs> and um, so we can't, we can't, I don't think we can do anything. They're not affected by whispers. It's just going to be Sudoku somehow that figures those out. Um, I know there's a high digit in one of those squares. I know that high digit is not a six, obviously. So it's got to be, if it's here, it's got to be a seven, which would be really useful. But if it's here, that square would also be in. Can I do anything with that? I don't think so. So, how do we make more progress here? It's probably Sudoku I'm missing. I am well aware of that. I apologize if you're all shouting at me because of some some Sudoku I've missed. Uh, what about that digit? Look, that can't be a one, two or a three. So it can't be a four actually, I've just noticed. I think it's got to be five Five, oh, maybe it's only got to be five. Hang on. One, two, three, four. It can be five. It can't be six. It can't be seven, eight, or nine. That is a naked single. That's a five on its own. So let's put that in and see if that takes us forward at all. Five is now in one of those two cells. Ah. Ah, of course. Actually, I could have done this before. I didn't think didn't think about it in the right order. But it, once this is five, this can't be five now. So it can't be an isolated region, can it? Because if that's... Or can it be? If it's isolated now, it needs to be a five. Because I need to have nine fives in the grid. So I don't think that this square can now be... If that square is snake, this has to be greater than, yeah, yeah, it's now obvious. Once five is here, this can't be a German whispers line, or it can't be snake because it's, well, if this was snake, you couldn't put a five here. And this couldn't be a five because it's got to be greater than five in and of itself. So actually, once we know the five is in this domino, we know this square is definitely yellow. And therefore that does come down here. And therefore, this square is a 7, 8, or a 9. That can't be 6, because that's going to force double 1. So I've now, ah, now I've got a 7, 8, 9 triple in this row, which is, ah, so now where does 9 go in this box? It's got to go here. 9 is a high digit, so 9 could go there and fulfill work in terms of the of, of the snake. I have a feeling I just deleted a whole load of, oh, I deleted a three pencil mark. Yeah, okay, where does three go? Three has to go there in the box, that might be big. Because now this square has to be five away from three, it has to be eight. Oh, are we off again now? So this is, Three, eight. That would still work with the nine if that's the nine. Otherwise, that's got to be a nine on the whispers line because it couldn't be an eight. It's got to be a seven in one of those two squares. If the seven is here, that has to be a one and a two. If the seven is here, we don't know. Um, that's no longer nine. Yeah, okay, if you look along this row, We've got a one, two pair and a seven, eight, nine triple. So these squares are four and six and we have four and six up there. So that's four, that's six. 
These two squares are now ones, twos, and sevens. Surely, surely, said I, surely that is something of my window lattice. Let me see then what there at is and this mystery explore. Let my heart be still a moment and this mystery explore. Tis the wind and nothing more. Ah, okay, that's got to be something. We don't know what, one, two, or seven again. So this is a whole configuration of ones, twos, and sevens, which is very irritating. Can we somehow get a grip on which order this goes in? That is the thing that I am grappling with. The answer to that appears to be, of course we can't, because that would require some sort of sophisticated level of solving techniques that don't seem to be available to me. There's a four in one of those cells by Sudoku. Um, these cells, look, are ones, twos, and fives only. Have we got any triples or pairs? We've almost got a pair there. We've got... Oh, I haven't looked at this. Less than 22. 15. Oh, there we are. Here we go. Right, I didn't look at this clue. I don't know how long this has been available for. But this, those add up to 15. So, that's important, isn't it? Because 15 plus 9 would already be definitely more than 22. So that's got to be red. And therefore, that's got to be yellow. And that's very annoying. So that doesn't actually do anything. The extension of the... It doesn't actually do anything, I don't think. Maybe we can limit that cell. Oh, yeah, we can. That can't be 7, because that would take us up to 22. We're looking at less than 22. So this... Ah, that's a 1-2 pair. That's a 7. Seven's got to be up there in box number 2. I've got a 1-2 oh, pair here. So this becomes a 3, which means that can't be 7. So 7 must go there in box 9. That can't be three anymore. One, two. There's definitely a three in one of... Them. Oh, no, this three is looking here. Right, one, two, three all get placed in box six. Two and one get placed over here. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's all collapsing. One and two there. Two comes out of these squares. We get left with a one, five pair. Come on, keep collapsing. The two is looking at that cell, so that's a one, that's a two. They become a one, three pair. Um, can we do better than that? Yeah, where does one go in column two? It's got to go at the bottom. Where does one go over here? It's got to go there. Where does one go over here? It's got to go there, and we know it's got to be next to the six, so that gets filled in. That gets filled in, and I, have we done the snakes? I want to say we've done the snakes and we have done the snakes. This is the configuration of the snakes. So we've got a great big snake on the right hand side and a more modest, modest snake on the left hand side. No jokes. Um, so this is a five. Ah, there's, right, this five actually, look, it's plonking a five over here now. So that's got to be a five, that's got to be a four, that's got to be a six. That place is a four by Sudoku. If we trust our pencil marks, this row looks like it. Oh, that seven is nice. Seven and eight get placed over here. Seven can't be next to uh, three. So that's one, that's three, that's five, that's one. That's something. Two, I think. Yay, that looks like it's working. Those are a five, nine pair. Uh, so we can fill those in with some pencil marks. This digit is known. That's a seven, that's an eight. This is a seven over this side. So that digit should be known as well. That's a two, that's a nine. This is an eight, good grief, good grief. That's two, okay, so that's, that is on the whisper. So that can't be a six now, or a nine by Sudoku, possibly, or something else by Elimination. What about this column? Yeah, that column needs an 8 in it. In fact, look, that's a 4-8 pair, I've just realised. 
Now, is that right? I think it is. So that implies that's got to be 8. That's 4. And these two squares are 3 and 6, which is also fillable. That's become a 7. Those two squares at the bottom there are 5 and 8, which is resolved. And in the corner, we put the 6, and that's working with the column, working with the row. We need 2s, 4s, and 9s across here. We can put the 2 in. That's a 4, 9 pair, not on the whisper, so we can't do that. These two squares are 5 and 6, which means that's no longer a 6. I don't know if it ever could have been, but it's not definitely not now. That's definitely a 4. And those squares are now 3s, 4s and 8s. And the 8 must go here. And the 3 goes here. And the 4 goes here. And the 4 and the 9. And the 9 and the 5. And the 5 and the 6. And the 7 and the 9. And this box needs a 5 here and a 6 here. And I might have done the puzzle. Let's click tick. Yay! <laughs> a long video. A long video. Hour and 20 for a Friday night. Well, I will say um, that that puzzle, I hope you all had a go at. It's absolutely extraordinary, some of the logic in that. Really interesting. Just, I love that, to be honest, from start to finish. Even, you know, the very start, just proving that those don't meet up with each other. The bit I found trickiest, I think, was this six. I couldn't really get my head around how to prove that quickly and how, how the snakes had to make their way around that. Um, but l after that, I absolutely loved that being even. I mean, that is witty. It's comedic to me. I don't know whether anyone agrees with this. It's actually funny. When you see this is even and you see the possibility of that snake winging around, you realise, oh, it can't do that because the secret tells us that 45 is not an even number. It's actually an amusing way of cluing that. Um, I just I just love things like that. It's just it's just absolutely elegant. Now, the other thing I struggled with was this idea around fives and the different regions that might have to have fives in it. There may well have been a more elegant way of doing that. I felt it was important, though, because it allowed me to sort of gradually work out. And I took, this took me ages to think through it, but that that cell had to itself be a five. Um, and you're probably all going to say, well, it had to be a five because it was a naked single or something. But I didn't notice that. Um, and less of the sexual innuendo as well. I mean, there's not been any of that going on at all in the last hour and 22 minutes and 32 seconds. Um, but anyway, <laughs> that's enough of that. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to go away and have a quiet brandy while I pontificate about pencil marks treachery this morning. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.